Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. While you're at it, give this video a thumbs up, share it to someone you think might like it, and I hope you stay to the end. Today I'm doing my ultimate drugstore starter, makeup starter kit. Um, everything you would need from the drugstore to complete a full face of makeup. I also made it a Valentine's appropriate, Valentine's friendly. It's been a while since I started a video with a full face of makeup too. I feel weird. So happy Valentine's to everyone out there who's celebrating the holiday. Um, now let's hop to it. All right, so I'm gonna start with Elf Jelly Pop Dew Primer. Like I have been loving this primer like it's so comparable to my milk hydro grip primer it dries to a nice tacky feel but it doesn't leave your skin dewy it just gives you a nice glow that just shines through your foundation and just makes your skin look so natural so as you can see my skin is not dewy at all it's just a subtle something that's just beautiful in my opinion. I'm gonna go in with e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. I don't know if you remember e.l.f. released um, their Pore Filling Putty Primer. I have that one as well, but I'm liking this matte one. It's very soft. It's not like crazy, crazy matte. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into like extremely mattifying primers. I always say I feel like they make me produce more oils, but this one is, it's perfect. So I just apply this only in the center of my face. That's where I get, I tend to be uh, more oily. And if you're someone who is dry, there is a luminous one as well. So I'm also gonna just add some lip gloss to my lip and I'm using this NK Makeup Lip Gloss. Like it's a dollar and it's amazing. They come clear as well. I'm just gonna put a little bit so my lips are not extremely chapped at the end of this video because I have the driest lips in the world. Another one I'm also loving that's a very affordable, obviously this is an affordable video, is the Wet n Wild Sleeping Mask. This one is like really, really nice as well. All right, so now that my face is primed into foundation. So two of my favorite, um, I mean, if you've been looking at my videos, you'll, you probably will know what drugs or foundation I'm going to use. And if you said L'Oreal Fresh Wear, then you are totally right. Like, I love this foundation so much. But another very, very good one from the drugstore that I've just fallen in love with all over again, I don't know why I ever stopped using it, is the Maybelline Superstay. This one is, as it says, it's fresh wear, but it's a buildable coverage. So you can get a very good coverage with a fresh wear one. But the Superstay one, it's more like um, full coverage and just flawless and beautiful on the skin. So it all depends on the look that you're going for for the day. So I am just going to stick to my fresh wear foundation. I just love this foundation so much. It's so light on the skin. It builds so beautifully and it never looks cakey and it lasts all freaking day as well. Like I just love it. I have no complaints with this foundation. I'm also just applying it with my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, only $5. Do you see how like soft this is? Like it's, oh, speechless. Every time I use this foundation, I'm speechless. This foundation is so gorgeous. I'm just gonna drag it down my neck just a tad bit to have everything look more even. I find like sometimes my face is just like extremely smooth and my neck doesn't look as smooth as my concealer. face. I'm using e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. This is the sister to the original e.l.f. Um, formula that I love so much and spoke about so much in my past videos. This one is just as it said, it's more satin finish, but it is like very similar to the other one, just with a different finish. You still get really nice full coverage. It's still, you still have to work really fast with it because it dries really fast in my opinion. Since I bought it, I haven't put it down. It's beautiful. I think they're like $5 or $6. I don't remember, but it's under $10. So I want to work sort of fast with it. I don't leave it for too long on my skin before blending it because this formula, like I said, it dries really fast does not settle in my fine lines underneath my eyes I'm at, I'm at a point where i know what i'm looking for in my products and this one gives it to me the way i'm doing my makeup like these products tend to last really well because i'm not someone who touches up my makeup during the day i always see that so and i don't even walk with makeup in my bag like that so however i do my face that's how it has to stay until i get them so most of the times i do my makeup these products they last on my face for more than 10 hours looking bomb at the end of the day 
So I usually like to go in with like a pressed powder, something more compact underneath my eyes before I actually go in with a loose powder. And I'm using CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Press Powder in 120. I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this underneath my eyes. Using my Tarty Blender Full, I did an entire review on this product. I will link it in the iCars description box so you can check it out. So I'm just really pressing this powder in the areas where I applied the concealer. It's just gonna, it's a denser powder, so it's just gonna make it last even more. And hence the reason why I'm like not using a lot of products. I'm layering my products so a little at a time. So it just makes my makeup last longer and just gives me a better finish. Okay now, so before I set the rest of my face, before I go with my loose powder, I'm gonna do my brow. I'm just gonna do that off camera because brows are boring as fuck. But I am gonna be using my Maybelline Tattoo Studio. Like I love this. Much since I bought it, I haven't, I haven't put it down. And another product I can recommend for you, these are newer to Wet n Wild, is the Ultimate Brow Kit. These are like $5 and they're very, very pigmented and they can be used as eyeshadows as well. So I'm just gonna be using this one for now. Um, my so let brows me are done. Yeah. Like I love um, the tattoo brows so much. I feel like if you're in a rush, you don't even need to set your brows. It just, the formula is just amazing. All right, again, wet and wild photo focus. <laughs> Let's do this again. I'm taking wet and wild photo focus powder in banana, and I'm now going to sort of bake the rest of my face using the blenderful again. Oh my god, do you guys hear that siren? Oh, 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 oh. It sets your makeup well, it's very finely milled, it does not, it's not overly drying, it's more of a softer matte um, powder. So I just, I love the finish of it. All right, so I'm gonna leave the bag there because I'm going to do my eyes now and just to catch any follows in case there might be any. And for my shadows, I'm using this Wet n Wild 32 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. Wet n Wild makes some of the greatest eyeshadows from the drugstore. They're amazing and they're so inexpensive. I don't know how they do that. How do they do that? <laughs> so this is what the palette is looking like. So this is like for anybody, for the, the everyday person, for someone who wants to create a glam look, whatever it is, this is like a really nice palette. There's so much tons of like neutral shades. You have your brighter shades. It's, it's amazing. Apparently amazing is my favorite word of today. So since it's Valentine's, I'm just gonna create something Valentine's-y. Maybe something pinky. Uh, what should I start with? What should I start with? There aren't any names on the palettes, so I'm just gonna start with this sort of warm, medium sort of looking um, brown. And I'm using my Jaclyn Hill JH34 brush. I'm just gonna apply that in my crease. There we go. These shadows blend like a dream. They're like such 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 nice shadows. I don't think I paid like I got the palette for like eight dollars it's usually 15 i got it on sale and that's the other thing with some of these products in this video is that you can always catch the sale at cvs right aid online there's always always a sale i'm sort of just pressing the pigment in the shadow in first and then i'm blending it i find like this way tends to keep the pigment <laughs> tends to keep the pigment um Keeps the shadows more pigmented. What am I trying to say? Pinky color. And I'm also, I'm gonna apply this one directly in my crease. Again, I'm just patting it. And then blending it into the first shade. Just to create some more dimension. Soften the edges. Just a tad bit. I am going to take this sort of bone color and just soften the edges 
so it looks a little bit more blended and it can act as a brow bone highlight as well color sort of a pinky rose gold sort of looking color really get it on my brush and apply that on my lid Ooh. nice and I'm sort of just using the shadow to cut my crease because I'm not like doing like a crazy cut crease just a little shutting shutting not bad This has such a nice reflex to it. And anyway, let me add some light back to my face. So I'm sitting here looking very ghostly. All right, so I'm taking my blender full again and I'm dipping it into my e.l.f. Um, it's a bronze duo. It comes with a blush and a contour color. It's something like of a sort of a cream to powder formula and I just really, really like it. So I'm gonna bring some light back to my face with this. We're so proud. And I'm also going to go over this with my trusty Black Radiance Contour Palette. Like, I love this palette so much. Just want to add a little more depth to this. There we have it. Pretty full. Pretty girl, me say pretty pretty girl, give me all of your love, me give you reciprocal. On the phone, me give you the lyrical, and when a person give you the physical. Oh my god, bronzer is so good. See the life coming back into my skin? It's beautiful. Oh. I'm gonna take the blush in that same palette and apply this to my cheekbones. Ooh. Phone me give you the lyrical, you mean a person give you the physical. Let me complete the bottom lashes. And I'm so I'm going in with the colors I use of my transition. I'm gonna start with this pinky one. This is not an eye look if I didn't add some black in my waterline. So I went in with my Maybelline black gel liner. I just love black. My look is incomplete without black. All right, so before I complete my face, I'm gonna set my face now because it's looking kind of dry. And I use a lot of powders. And I'm using ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. Like I love this spray. I don't like the mist on it, so I transferred it to an empty bottle. This setting spray, I don't feel like it um, like makes your makeup last longer, but it does what my Morphe does for me. It's, it um, it meshes everything well together, and um, I don't think you can use a lot of it either because it's like it's kind of moist. So if you're someone on the drier side, you really love that that um, setting mist in my opinion. So I'm gonna go in with some NYX Matte Setting Spray. I'm just gonna apply that in the center of my face mostly. I love L'Oreal Chic and Glow and I'm also, yes, I'm extra today. I'm gonna apply this to the side of my face so that my face is drier, it's more normal dry. So I just wanna have that hydration on the side of my face. This makes everything look more natural. It's natural. Okay, now back to the eyes. I'm gonna add a little inner corner highlight and I'm using this sort of iridescent color. You cannot see this in the lighting, I swear. You'll see it on my eyes. I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corners of my eyes. Ooh, you see how beautiful it is. This color reminds me of a color from the Shayla and ColourPop Perception palette. There's this lovely iridescent color that I love so much. 
and I'm just gonna run that down the center of my nose as well magic so I'm on my cupid's bow and while I'm highlighting I would recommend Maybelline Master Chrome highlighters. These are the best highlighters from the drugstore, I swear. I have mine in Motel Gold and Rose Gold. I'm going to use Rose Gold today. And I think I'm going to use my Blenderful and apply some of this to the tops of my cheekbones, like so. I love using the blender full for my highlight like it um, it saves me a step it just meshes the highlight in my skin it's so beautiful it softens it it's really it's natural it can warm with my skin hmm I feel like an infomercial added my mascara i use the rimmel lash accelerator for my bottom lashes and essence last princess mm, one of my very very favorite mascaras for my top lashes do you see that like do i even need lashes i just applied like one coat but i am gonna go in with false lashes today and i'm using kiss you guessed it number nine lashes I use my um, Super Stronghold Black Eyelash Glue from Kiss as well. I've been using it for years. All right, time for lips. And I'm going to line my lips with, you guessed it again, BFF3 Lip Liner. Then I'm applying some of this Colourpop and Shayla Lip Satting in Slow Down. Just a dab of that. Just giving a little finger blend. I want this to be a tad bit pinky and a little more glossy. So I'm going in with Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Chic Got Real. Really, really. Just gonna apply a little bit of that in the center, just to make it a little more like pinky. And there we have it, my ultimate drugstore makeup starter kit and my valentine's look all in one killing two birds with one stone oh my god who kills birds so i hope you found this um this video informative i hope you discovered products that you probably didn't know about and this look like i said you can achieve a bomb ass beat with drugstore products like don't be fooled don't think you have to purchase higher end products to achieve a long lasting flawless makeup look like no like the drugstore has upped the game so much this this past couple of years that you would find everything in the drugstore so you don't have to break the bank to look beautiful or to enhance your beauty no way no not at all not in 2020 okay all right so um Everything I use will be in the description box, so be sure to check that out. All the links to my social media. Um, I am a nail tech and a makeup artist out here in Brooklyn, so follow me on my Instagram and stuff and see my work. I will link any related videos in the iCards. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. It really helps and I really, 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 really appreciate it. So um, let's continue to touch the world one face at a time and I'll see you in my next tutorial very, very soon.